Since I was a child, I have been enthralled with our national parks. I remember the first time I visited Rocky Mountains, Great Smoky Mountains, Glacier, Yellowstone, Yosemite, and so many others. Being at any of our national parks means I am in my happy place. From Lassen to Acadia, Denali to Everglades, these are our parks to enjoy and protect. This series is intended to compare various categories and thereby justify my subjective ranking of all 63 of our national parks. Hopefully this inspires you to get out there and spend time at these treasures. I have been fortunate to have been able to visit almost all of our national parks. Perhaps down the road you will come to realize what I have discovered firsthand, that we are blessed to have these brightest jewels as our neighbors, and to ignore them is only to deny ourselves of the majesty right here in our own backyard. Guadalupe National Park, Texas. This is September 8th or 9th, 2024. Walking into the visitor center. You're hearing lots of animal noises out here. Yeah. It's a caution, strong winds, but it's not windy at all, so that's awesome. Mm -hmm. This is a Texas madrone oh, plant. Looks like nice. That. Oh, ice. Seven pound bag of ice. How much you think it costs? If you said 575, you got it right. Bought a bag of Walmart this morning for 233. And we still got ripped off. Maple and I are sitting in a park bench outside the visitor center since dogs are not allowed inside the visitor centers. So we'll wait for Bianca to come out. She just walked in about 30 seconds ago. So we'll see how long she takes in there. My guess is going to be probably, I'm going to say eight minutes today. We'll see. It's very pleasant here, the elevation. I don't know what it is, but it's probably four or 5,000 feet, I think. And it's only in the 70s right now, so it's the coolest it's been on this trip so far. This is day three. Started in Henderson, Nevada, and we had to leave Friday night around 5.45 p.m. And we drove down to Phoenix, and we stayed the night on the south side of Phoenix. So day one, we didn't do anything. Day two, we went down to Tucson, and we did Saguaro National Park. Then we drove down to Tombstone, Arizona, and stopped there for a bit. And then we headed over to Bisbee. Enjoyed seeing that old mining town. From Bisbee, we drove forever to get to uh, El Paso, where we spent last night, and woke up this morning and went to a Mexican restaurant for breakfast in El Paso, and then we stopped at a Walmart to get some provisions because there are no food. Um, the only thing they have here at the visitor center is uh, the ice for sale, bags of ice. You've got to bring in whatever you want to eat or snack on at this park. So we brought a couple sandwiches, chips, and of course I've got a ton of Diet Coke out there, Monster Drinks, some San Pellegrino, Limonada, water, and Maple's food and treats. Right, Maple? Yeah, we do. Don't forget you, huh, puppy? Right, let's go in the visitor center of Guadalupe Mountains National Park. Ooh, it's dark in here. It's nice. It's probably environmentally friendly. Uh-huh. Hi, thanks. All right. Ooh, wild turkey. I see a coyote and some kind of bird. Pretty. Okay, talking about the wildlife, talking about fossils, when it used to be a sea. Of course, everywhere used to be a sea. Owl. So whenever you're here, hang your past in your car. Okay, already. This is an old one, dude. Oh my gosh, and guess what? That one's been replaced. That that My original <gasps> one, they, at uh, Cedar Breaks National Monument, they replaced oh, it. Oh, wow. So that was probably 20 years ago they did that. But So imagine I had wow. one before that. You yeah, like don't look that old, but yes, Thank you. Oh, thank awesome. you. Yay. I'm like, do you? You made my day. Checking your ID.
70s, light breeze, sunshine. It feels so good here. Bianca is bringing my wide brim hat though because you know how you can get sunburnt pretty easily out west. Here's a pinery trail. Okay. Goes that way. Welcome to the Pinery Trail. As you travel this short third mile path to the remains of the old Pinery Station. Wow, you would go from St. Louis to San Francisco and they promised the journey would take 25 days. So you went day and night. Um, each coach traveled day and night averaging 120 miles a day, carrying up to nine passengers, essential baggage, and 12,000 letters. Interesting. Maple's leading the way. There's the girls <laughs> walking the Pinery Trail, Guadalupe Mountains National Park. And then look at there's the tuna, right? Oh you yeah. Call that red spot. Yep. Bianca said you can take those off and eat them. What do you do to them to prepare them? You take the you cut you have to cut the outer layer. Prickly and you stuff eat off. Inside. Okay. What about these? pears or can you cut those off and eat them is that what there's you certain ones you can i don't i think when they're thinner mm, okay cool no poly right no pal. no pal? butterfield overland mail that was a marvel of the day. The mail they did, it was before the Pony Express. Oh, okay. a similar thing. 100 of these wagons were built and they cost $1,500 each. Ooh, that's expensive. Oh, that was very expensive back then. But look at that trail. They went way down south to get yeah. to uh, San Fran. I know, you think that they would go like this. Okay. Scared you. <laughs> yeah, I could just kill herself, I think. Okay, cool, thanks.